About two years ago, my friend Will gave me a game he bought on sale. This game is Garshasp, the Monster Slayer. And Jesus Christ, just look at that menu system. Beautiful. So, where are we? The land of Persia. Who are we playing? Great Garshasp, the mighty Persian warrior. What are we doing? Creatures only left their dens on command of a deed and felt a premonition about dreadful events happening in his town, Ariasp. So, honestly, this looks like it's most of the game. Um, as you can see... <laughs> as you can see, um, we have a deep combat system with various combo moves and upgradable abilities throughout the game. This is the key features listed on, on the Steam, by the way. So, I'll be honest right now, I'm just left-clicking. I'm straight... I'm just left-clicking. Now we're doing some right clicks every now and then. See where it, like, does this, like, orange color on my sword. Yep, power attacks. Those are right clicks. I'll be honest, most of the game, I just I just left click. It's it's just better. And then we have the tutorial system. Here we go. This really blurry, tiny font that I found nearly impossible to read. Yeah. Um, and hey, you know, while we're at it, let's just look at. Can we just, just stare at the the health bar and the the XP bar? Just beautiful that. And here we have the first boss fight of the game. Um, as you can see, it's uh, multi-layered, uh, rich combat right here. We have a walled off environment, just like, you know, Dark Souls 1, let's compare it to all the games that came out 2011, wasn't it? Uh, Dark Souls 1, uh, you got like the Capra Demon, small area that you gotta fight. Uh, it has multiple types of attacks. This one, uh, it looks like it's got one attack. It, uh, it will roar. And it will, well, it'll do its one attack. Uh, and I realised that if I just rolled away before I did its attack, and then walk back in and just hit it, you know, there's nothing it can physically uh, it can do. Um, so I mean, here it is. This is the boss. This is like the tense fighting of the game. Um, looks like here we have a God of War spliced into the game with the chest and XP system works pretty much identically and here's the what is it cinematic in-game camera following the hero uh, beautiful environments here as you can see I mean it made it nearly impossible to walk in a straight line it was well worth the nearly complete loss of control of my character I gotta say
found out that Hittasp, the golden crow, had killed his brother Orvach and stolen the mace of the House of Trit. He had left an Akatosh Deev in command of the city and left for the Temple of Angata. Retaliation for his brother's blood was all that Garshasp could think about now. So here we have our next boss fight. Uh, it's just a normal guy, but slightly bigger. And I actually thought he only had one move where he attacks and attacks a second time. But it turns out he has this sweet fly kick move that fucking threw me off guard. Like, holy shit, did you see that? My god, I never expected a boss to have two types of attack. Well, with this one, they didn't even really try to pretend it was something more than what it was. It just says platforming elements. And I mean, I'm not... Uh, it's, it's, it's not entirely wrong, is it? Technically, this is platforming. It's just super, super great. Yep. Uh, here we yep, climb the and he yep. There he goes. He did it. And now I'm gonna jump, uh, jump, jump, climb again. And platforming, really great platforming. Legitimately though, there was actually this one bit that was kind of like, well, you know what? This is something that you'd find in a a game that's you know kind of okay and it's like this weird mechanic where you're just like sliding down this wall uh, on your dagger and you know I kind of I I found myself actually enjoying a small aspect of this game and I'll be honest with you I didn't expect that check out the sweet oh no I'm falling to my death well it's fine I'll just press E so that's good but yeah it, it fucking I don't know it was all right this part but then uh, then one of the rock things starts falling, uh, and as you can see, when it eventually catches up with you, we have the greatest death animation I've ever seen in any game. It was around this point that I realized that the amazing gameplay, um, like the combat, I've been doing it wrong. Now what I should have been doing is not just left clicking constantly no 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 that's really limiting the game's potential what I should be doing is pressing E until every enemy is dead in invincible frames doing the exact same animation where they don't attack you when you're doing it um, and it well it, honestly it did the job now that the flame of the warriors fury had receded a little there was something other than revenge to ponder. The one thing that had brought Hittasp to the town of Ariasp. The object that Orvok had lost his life defending. The Mace of Trit. And it was at this point I could stomach the game no longer. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I don't really know what I just made. Um, but, you know, it was in the old style of the way that I used to make videos. And it was kind of fun to make. Sorry, Will, that it took me two years to make this video for you. But it finally happened. Here you go, buddy. Did you enjoy it? Let me know. Um, otherwise, guys, I'll see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm ever going to do something like this again. But I hope you enjoyed it.